and working with the Lord and doing ministry and healing prayer and seeing God do miracles in so many people and then supporting the blessings of God through what we call integrative medicine which is to restore and support our health and our bodies. We do see just incredible things in the medical field which is you know what I come from our main focus is to take our heavy artillery our drugs our surgical procedures our chemos our radiation and throw it at the illness what we try to do is we try to bring down your symptoms we try to knock the symptoms out so that you get feeling better and so we try to manage the symptoms through the medical treatments that we give what we don't do so much in the medical field we do a little bit of this but it's not the main focus is we don't support the body what we really need to be doing a lot more of is restoring your health, getting your cells, your tissues, your organs functioning better, restoring the structure, rebuilding them. We do a little bit of this, but we don't do nearly enough. And I think the more we would do, the, the better the results we would see. I'd like to um, share some of this with you. Let's take a common issue like pain, discomfort, feeling not so good, having symptoms that just aren't serving you. What do we normally do with these? So we give you drugs to handle these symptoms. But let's say you do have arthritis or you do have fibromyalgia or headaches or I could go on and on to endless numbers of diseases. Where you have the illness, those tissues have broken down like with the arthritis of the hip where the cartilage gets worn down, the head of the femur, the big bone, the, the head itself can get worn down, the joint capsule, all of these things start to lose their integrity, the structure thins out, it gets irregular, the muscles get spasmed, strained, stiff. You end up with a lot of symptoms based on the structure and function itself of your body not working. So it's very important to get you back to functioning well. And I want to give you just some examples because the kinds of medications that I just mentioned are probably what a lot of you have been on, or if you're not on now, you've been on in the past when you've had an accident or a car or a motorcycle crash or a fall or diving accident or motorcycle accident or or have a lot of chronic tension and pain could be anywhere in your whole body there's no part that can't be affected by these kinds of symptoms internally in your organs and tissues or externally in your you know muscles ligaments tendons even the joints and those things we have a whole system that regulates pain um, it's a three-part system it's in our brain we have pain centers in the brain the insula the amygdala the anterior cingulate cortex the thalamus. These are some of your common pain centers in your brain that receive information from all over your body that you hurt, that you're sore. The spinal cord also carries these signals from the body and then you have the peripheral nerves, your little nerves, all over your whole body that when things aren't right, you stub your foot, you cut your finger, you scrape your elbow, whatever happens, you get a bike accident, and the pain can be what we call nociceptor pain or neuropathic pain, just depending if it's the tissue sending the pain signal or the nerve itself. Don't worry about the medical terms, I'm just giving you a few little things here and there because that's how we label these things in the field. The pain's either coming from the nerves themselves or from tissue all over your body. And pain can be from your mind. Just know that the pain centers in your brain where everything flows to can also be emotional and mental. You can have as much pain from your mind, feeling sad, depressed, hopeless, helpless, frustrated, judgmental, angry, anxious, fearful. It's just endless. It's anything but what God wants because what God wants is love and joy and peace of mind. That's how we can form our mind to Him. The enemy attacks, gives you symptoms, pain, discomfort any, from anywhere in your body or your life or your mind and all the joy goes away. You end up with just a, a lot of mental, physical, emotional discomfort. That's what we don't want you to have. That's the brain through those centers I mentioned, I'm going to mention them one more time, the insula, the amygdala, the anterior cingulate cortex, the thalamus, everything goes up there from your whole body. Everybody's got something going on. Those are what are signaling into your brain. And it goes through the spinal cord and through the peripheral nerves, as I mentioned, could be anywhere in your body. So it's nerves to spinal cord to brain. Nerves to spinal cord to brain. I just want you to be real clear 
and how this works because this is a system that God's put together. In medical arena, we give you medication, we give you opioid drugs, we give you narcotics, we give you shots, pain treatments with devices, but none of these are real cures. You could be on these drugs for the rest of your life. But it's amazing with God because he can make the whole system work. Then you have a true healing from God, it's a miracle healing where things just disappear. That's that's what a miracle healing is. It's like you never were sick. God just takes it away and you're healed and it's beautiful. And he can do that as an instant healing or he might do it progressively, but that's where we all end up. When you truly believe in God and when you can call on both spiritual healing and the medical healing, you just have these incredible miracles. I want to pray, Lord, that all those three levels of the pain system be healed by you. And I want to pray that the most beautiful anti-pain chemicals flow through each and every one of you. Just beautiful anti-pain, relaxant, positive, anti-inflammatory, nurturing chemicals. I pray this from the Lord in the name of Jesus that this flows through your brain and your spinal cord and your nerves into every part of your body and your mind that you need this. And that you just let it come in because this is what God wants to give you. This is the part of the healing that comes from the Lord. So I just want to pray in the name of Jesus that all of these beautiful anti-pain, anti-inflammatory, relaxing chemicals like rivers of living water that is always the picture god gives me rivers of living water just flowing through you so you feel your best and you just feel the rivers of living water just taking away all pain and all discomfort and just leaving all of this from your body and your mind and your mind becomes calm your mind becomes peaceful, filled with happiness and joy, and we just let go all discomfort and all misery, because that's not from God anyway, that's from the enemy. Only the enemy, only Satan, the devil, will cause misery in people where this just keeps going on and on. God is all about love and kindness and compassion and caring and wanting you to be your best and feel your best. So we want to bring in the love of God flowing him through the whole system, taking out all discomfort, all pain, and restoring you to ease and comfort and relaxation where your muscles relax and you lose stiffness and any inflammation or irritation or irritability, it could be internally in any part of your body, it could be cancer, it could be infections, it could be autoimmune disease, it could be your internal organs, it could be orthopedic or neurologic. That isn't of God. And all of those issues, when they trigger you with symptoms, we just want to calm it all down through the Lord, get this whole system just relaxed, and your mind and your body just start to feel at ease again. So give all this over to God. Let's just give all of your symptoms all of your discomfort to God to just take away, to remove all the cells that are not feeling their best, everything that shouldn't be there for you. Let's just give it to God and let him put in new cells, new neurons, new brain chemicals, everything healed and feeling beautiful in God. And I also want to let you know that there's a lot of things you can do to support this. You can do this, of course, through healthy diet. And there's a number of nutrients that you can take in that are very useful, not only to just reduce pain, but restore you, restore your body, restore your health, and get you back to feeling good. Again, this is more what we call integrative medicine than the regular medicine that I'm trained in where we're just giving you the drugs and the surgical procedures. This is more giving you things that bring you in balance, make you feel good again, help to strengthen and balance all those parts of you that need to come into perfect balance and perfect health. There's an infinite number of these. I just want to share a few of these. First of all, I do want to share with you that one of the most common things we see in the medical field when people don't feel well is inflammation. If I took a medical history from every one of you here tonight you and find out what your symptoms are, invariably discomfort, pain, feeling off, your system's not functioning right, is going to come right up. And you're just going to say, oh, this just is, I just can't get rid of it. And, 
I don't sleep well at night and I always feel kind of edgy and it's affecting my mood. I, I've heard this a thousand times. What I want to do is let you know that you can strengthen your support for reducing inflammation, which we see in virtually every illness. If, you, if you're here tonight with cancer, likely you have inflammation along with the cancer. If you have autoimmune disease, you 100% have inflammation. If you've got orthopedic problems, it doesn't matter if it's your knees, your hips, your shoulders, your low back, your neck, your elbows, it's just inflammation there. And it's worsening the stiffness, weakness of the muscles, and decreased range of motion. It's there with everything. How many of you know that when you're depressed, you have inflammation of the brain? Some of the newer research in medicine that depression causes inflammation as does anxiety and worry and fear. Inflammation's everywhere. And we don't really have cures for it in the medical field. I want to suggest to you that there's a number of supplements you can take that support God's perfect healing in our own body. One of the things that are very simple are enzyme therapies because God created these through the pancreas. We have an endocrine system of the pancreas that creates insulin and glucagon to manage diabetes. The pancreas is definitely linked to diabetes. Of course you all know that. But there's another part of the pancreas that's called the exocrine system. And your pancreas makes incredible enzymes like trypsin and chymotrypsin and amylase and lipase that help to digest all of your different types of foods in the small intestine. But the other amazing thing is that these enzymes recycle throughout your whole body. We know this from tons of medical research and they're used by the body to quell and get rid of inflammation and people heal much quicker when they have a good amount of these enzymes. These enzymes are real simple. They're things like bromelain, which is made from pineapple, pineapple stem. It's good to take these between meals if you really want the anti-inflammatory, anti-pain effect. So bromelain is wonderful. You can take it between meals a couple times a day. 500 milligrams, kind of a higher potency is good, like 2,500, 2,000 of the um, units that describe potency, which we call GDUs. Another product I love, which I've seen in the medical world be very helpful for people, is Megazyme. It's one of my favorite products because it's a very high potency, multi-faceted kind of enzyme product. I'm just giving you these as examples. I don't usually necessarily recommend brands or that kind of thing, but Megazyme is a very nice product, but there's lots of other ones that you can work with, but they're, again, it's multifaceted. Bromelin, it's nice to take them together and they really quell inflammation. They're very good that way. Um, there's a lot of other things that support us to quell inflammation. One of the things that I do talk about periodically is your adrenal gland. When you have inflammation, pain, discomfort, weakness, chronic illness, you invariably have weak adrenals. Everybody does. Most of you watching tonight have weak adrenals because it's just what we see with illness. It's just the most common thing frequently seen and we don't really test you for it unless we think you've got cancer in the adrenals or a serious disease like Cushing's disease. We don't even test your adrenals and people are walking around with these sad adrenals that just aren't doing their job. And the beautiful thing about the adrenals is they affect every part of your body to be strong and healthy. And just to give you some examples, this is for every one of you who really need to have strong endocrine um, glands in your brain, strong adrenals, just the whole system should be strong because it gives you tremendous resistance to disease and helps you heal quickly, but your adrenals are super important. So the adrenals are amazing because they will reduce inflammation, just like the enzymes do, the adrenals the adrenal chemicals called corticosterones, glucocorticoid corticosterones, reduce inflammation. It boosts your immunity. What could be better? You have an infection, you have cancer, you have autoimmune disease, you need strong adrenals, and they tremendously boost your, your immunity. Um, the adrenals help to regulate the fluid and mineral balance in your body. Look at all these amazing things they do. You make cortisol through the adrenals, and they help to regulate your stress level. You want nice, healthy cortisol levels in the adrenals. The adrenals help you to convert food into energy. That's our source of creating energy for strength and wellness. The adrenals regulate your heart, reg help regulate your blood pressure. If you're diabetic, which millions of people are, it helps to um, regulate that as well. Even male and female reproductive hormones, they're not just made by our reproductive glands, but they're made by the adrenals as well. 
So the adrenals are amazing and the inside of the adrenals helps to create strength and energy too. So I want to pray strong adrenals for all of you, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, that your adrenals be strong and healthy and that they bless every single cell and every part of your body. But it's also important to know that B vitamins, the whole B complex is really good for strength and energy and healing. And particularly B5, panathenic acid, is very good for your adrenal health, as is vitamin C. The two together are amazing. So I want to recommend these. Essential fatty acids like flax oil and fish oil are very supportive of your adrenals and your health to quell discomfort and pain and irritation. They're anti-inflammatories. They are very powerful. Wherever you've got pain, if you're taking in the omega-3 fatty acids, they're really going to help you feel your best. They're very important. A good basic foundational program make, can make a whole lot of difference for you in terms of how you heal and how you feel. So I do recommend this. Rhodiola rosea, Siberian ginseng, um, ginseng itself. These are all very good for your endocrine glands and for your adrenals. So I'm just giving you a few suggestions for feeling your best. You definitely want to have a healthy brain because the brain regulates every single cell in your body and will help you heal. The brain has a very major effect on how you feel. We have chemicals in the brain that regulate pain, discomfort, inflammation, all kinds of illnesses and then chemicals when they're out of balance that can stimulate illness and pain and discomfort. The really the important functioning word is balance. We have trillions of cells in our body. We have 37.2 trillion cells, millions and billions of chemicals, chemical pathways. We are so remarkably made by the Lord. But he created us to have balance and when we're balanced we really never get sick. When you're balanced chemically, emotionally, physically, you can just move through life and do all the things you love to do and you won't get sick. And I want to pray in the name of the Lord that your brain chemicals, your excitatory and your inhibitory, be in perfect balance. And to help that along, I just want to recommend, again, that these chemicals depend on a lot of nutrients to go down the pathways and be in balance. For example, potassium and magnesium and even a little calcium. These kinds of minerals are very important to promote the, the right kind of pathways for feeling good and being healthy. We know this is true um, chemically, even the genetic research that we do in the medical field on your DNA, your chromosomes. There's a lot of interesting research on this showing um, genetic mutations affecting the mineral and electrical balance of the brain, the nervous system and the body. So this is really important stuff to be aware of. B vitamins, which I mentioned earlier, every cell in your body needs B vitamins to be strong, to be healthy. I mentioned them for the adrenals a little earlier. But they also set the um, chemical pathways of your brain to be in balance. Vitamin B6, for example, helps you to make serotonin from tryptophan. You actually need vitamin B6 to convert the tryptophan um, through the pathways into the serotonin, which is an incredibly important nutrient. It calms you down. It gives you good sleep at night. At the spiritual level, serotonin has been linked to self-esteem and self-confidence. So we have the spiritual level of how God works with us and we also have the chemical level. They both activate at the same time. And so we really want to support the good production and the balance of all these things. So B vitamins, minerals like calcium, magnesium, potassium, the fatty acids are incredibly important for your brain, not just for inflammation throughout the body, but they help to prevent depression. They help to prevent bipolar. They help to keep your brain solid and stable. They support healthy reproduction in men and women, um, healthy vision. I mean, these things are incredible. So I just want to pray a blessing for you guys and let you know how important these things are. If you have high blood pressure or you've had a stroke or a tendency towards heart attacks, vitamin C is very important, especially when combined with bioflavonoids, which can come from citrus or buckwheat or different kinds of plant sources. But why are they important? It's because they act on blood vessels throughout every part of your body, not just your heart, 
and your brain, but the whole body, and they strengthen and tonify the blood vessels so they don't burst, they don't rupture, they don't get weak, you don't have bleeds in your brain, you don't have ruptures of blood vessels throughout the body, in your legs, your arms, wherever. And these things are super important. Just taking a combination of C and flavonoids together gives you such support for your whole cardiovascular system. And I'm just mentioning a few of these things because these are such common issues for people. And these are just simple things to know about and simple things that you can do. To have healthy joints, ligaments, tendons, cartilage, connective tissue throughout your body, it's very good to take um, things like chondroitin sulfate, 600 milligrams, you can take that twice a day. Hyaluronic acid, which works on the fluid balance of your tissues, including your skin. And then collagen and even gelatin. It's incredible, the medical research on simple things like collagen and gelatin. Some of the research on this goes back quite a ways and it helps to support all your joints, your bones, your hair, um, your nails, your connective tissue. It's amazing how some simple things can make a huge difference. And again, please do send me things that you need, you're, you need help with, you're interested in, because I look at these things, we use them in putting the the programs together. Thank you God for bringing us together. Thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I thank you for your love for all of us. I thank you for bringing blessing into everybody's heart, everybody's mind, and all of our lives. And I pray the goodness of God be upon each and every one of you, that you live a healthy life, you eat well, take supplements where they can be useful. I was just giving you some examples tonight from the medical side of things that can be quite helpful in supporting you health-wise. Keep a healthy mindset. Smile. Do not frown. Do not think negatively. That's the enemy. The devil wants you to be as miserable as possible. Have negative thoughts. Feel hopeless. Feel upset. Feel worried. Feel angry. Whatever you're going to feel. And God wants you to feel joyful and happy and blessed. And the more you are joyful, the more you are smiling, the more you create the most healthy chemistry in your body for healing. You literally promote healing. Every time you are joyful, you smile, you're happy. Don't let the enemy mess with your mind. The enemy wants you to be miserable. The enemy wants things to be hard for you. God wants it to be easy. So be blessed by the Lord. Know that he's here with you. The 139th Psalm, God never is away from you. That's right there in the Psalm. He's with you day, night, light, light of the day, dark of the night. He's always with us, loving us, blessing us. And he wants to answer your prayers. Every one of you is my brother and sister in Christ. And I love each and every one of you and just want you to be your healthy and happiest and most healed best. In Jesus' name, bless you guys. See you again very soon. Amen.